This isn't your average tropical getaway. We're not just chasing turquoise waters and sugar white beaches, though those are pretty sweet perks too. We're on a quest to unlock the secrets of the Okinawans, the island dwellers who laugh louder, dance wilder, and out-garden teenagers even when they're closer to 100 than 20. They're not just living, they're living with a capital L. They're wrinkles, not maps of regret, but testaments to a life danced to its fullest. And they're ready to spill the tea, herbal tea of course, on their longevity secrets. We're about to dive into eight powerful principles that can turn your life into an Okinawan fiesta. Vibrant food that sings on your tongue, mindful movement that makes your body sing, and a community that's like a warm hug for your soul. We're talking laughter-filled gardens, herbal teas that brew magic in every cup, and a philosophy that says age is just a number. Honey, crank up the music. Rule number one, a nutrient-dense diet. Forget Botox, forget the gym, forget counting calories till you're cross-eyed. If you want to live a long life brimming with vitality, look no further than the Okinawan diet. These island dwellers basking in the turquoise waters of Japan boast the highest concentration of centarians on Earth. Seriously, their grandmas are doing Zumba while you're mastering Candy Crush. What's their secret? It's not magic, folks, it's what's on their plates. So ditch the processed junk and buckle up for a food adventure to Okinawa. First stop, the garden. Fruits and vegetables aren't just sidekicks here, they're the main event. Think vibrant purple sweet potatoes, bitter melon that sounds scary but tastes divine, and leafy greens so fresh they'll practically wink at you. These powerhouses are packed with vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, keeping Okinawans youthful from the inside out. Next, we're diving into the ocean. Fish is not a common quest on the Okinawan table, but if it's there, it's not your deep-fried, greasy kind. We're talking grilled, steamed, or sashimi style, bursting with omega-3s that keep hearts happy and brains sharp. And don't forget the seaweed. This ocean gem is loaded with iodine, essential for healthy thyroid and metabolism. But wait, there's more. Think tofu, soybeans, and legumes. These protein-packed wonders are kind to your heart and gut, keeping you feeling full and energized. And don't worry, meat lovers, you're not forgotten. A sprinkle of pork or chicken occasionally adds flavor without weighing you down. Now, the piece de resistance, the portions. Okinawans follow the harahichibu rule, meaning they stop eating when they're 80% full. No bursting buttons, no post-meal comas, just a light and satisfied feeling. But it's not just about the food. Okinawans savor every bite. They eat slowly, connecting with their bodies and appreciating the nourishment they're receiving. It's a mindful dance with food, not a mindless shoveling contest. The Okinawan diet isn't about deprivation. It's about abundance. It's about celebrating fresh, vibrant foods, honoring your body's needs, and enjoying every delicious morsel. Ready to give it a try? Ditch the fad diets, embrace the Okinawan way, and watch your wrinkles fade, your energy soar, and your lifespan stretch like a plate of perfectly cooked soba noodles. You might just find yourself doing Zumba with your grandkids in a hundred years. Rule number two, prioritize hydration with clean water. Imagine this, you're 100 years old, skin as smooth as a baby's, dancing like Beyonce with a twinkle in your eye. Sound impossible? not in Okinawa, and their second secret weapon isn't face cream or magic potions. It's something far simpler. Water. Forget fancy bottled water with more labels than a medieval manuscript. Okinawans embrace the liquid gold that flows from natural springs, the kind that's been bubbling for centuries, whispering ancient secrets of youth. They sip it throughout the day like a gentle melody nourishing their souls, not just their bodies. But it's not just about chugging gallons. They treat water like a dance, a slow, graceful waltz with their thirst. No eight glasses a day rules here. They listen, truly listen to the whispers of their bodies, reaching for their crystal clear companions only when the need arises. It's a love affair, really. They infuse their water with whispers of mint, slices of sunshine yellow citrus, or, or cool slivers of cucumber. 
each sip a celebration, a tiny orchestra of flavors playing on their tongues. No wonder they're smiling. And forget sugary sodas and processed juices that leave you crashing harder than a toddler after a sugar rush. Those sugar devils are banished from the island, replaced by the pure, unadulterated elixir of life. Imagine your cells plump and happy, thanking you with every drop. So ditch the fancy filtration systems and bottled water with names longer than your grandmother's grocery list. Embrace the Okinawan water dance. Listen to your body. Sip with intention and let the simple act of hydration become a celebration. You might just find yourself skipping through life with the grace of a centarion, a testament to the power of water and a good old fashioned shimmy. Rule number three, dance like nobody's watching, even if they are. Forget sculpted abs and heart rate monitors. Forget the pressure of perfectly choreographed routines. If you want to move your body like it's 20 again, even when it's closer to 100, these island dwellers aren't just living, they're grooving. Their bodies temples of joy, their wrinkles etched with laughter lines, no worry lines. Here, dancing isn't a chore, it's the air they breathe. It's woven into the fabric of their lives, a spontaneous burst of joy erupting in village squares a rhythmic heartbeat echoing through sun-drenched streets. Forget the self-consciousness, the fear of clumsy steps and awkward glances. Okinawans dance like nobody's watching, even when everybody's watching. They sway to the island's rhythms, their bodies storytelling without words, their faces beaming with uninhibited delight. It's not about perfection, it's about connection. Arms linked, feet tapping, they move as one, a kaleidoscope of ages and abilities, united in the language of shared joy. Grandmothers twirl with toddlers, weathered hands collapsed in tiny ones. Their laughter, a symphony that transcends generations. Forget the gym memberships and the pressure to work out. Okinawans move their bodies naturally through the daily dance of life. They tend their gardens, their bodies swaying in the rhythm of planting and tending. They walk to the market, each step a mindful movement, each breath a deep connection with the earth beneath their feet. They even dance while they cook, spices swirling in the air like confetti, their bodies humming with the unspoken music of simmering pots and sizzling pans. Life is their dance floor, every moment an opportunity to express the joy that lives within. So ditch the self-doubt, the fear of judgment, Embrace the Okinawan groove. Move your body, even if it's just a gentle sway, a tap of your foot to an unheard rhythm. Let the joy of movement wash over you. Let your wrinkles become badges of a life well danced. You might just find yourself tapping into a wellspring of vitality you never knew existed. You might even inspire someone else to join, to forget the world and dance like nobody's watching, even when they are. Because in the end, that's the truest dance of all. Rule number four, forget birthday blues. Embrace the Okinawan Ninju Naka Yoi groove, where age is just a rhythm, not a requiem. Forget the candles on your cake, the relentless march of birthdays ticking away like a metronome set to fast forward. If you want to defy the tyranny of time, to dance in the face of wrinkles with a twinkle in your eye, then join the Okinawan groove where age is just a number, and life is a vibrant melody played with unbridled passion. Imagine grandmothers shimmying to island rhythms, their sun-kissed skin a canvas of laughter lines, their moves defying gravity and societal expectations. Picture centarians sharing body jokes over steaming cups of tea, their eyes sparkling with a mischievous glint that says, life ain't over till the music stops, honey. Forget the pressure to act your age, the whispers that tell you to dim your spark, to fade quietly into the background. Okinawans laugh louder, sing stronger, and dance wilder with each passing year. They're like seasoned musicians, their wrinkles not blemishes, but the marks of a life played to the fullest. Every note savored, every chord resonating with joy. Think of the fishermen, weathered hands casting nets with the same grace as they did decades ago his weathered face etched with the wisdom of a thousand storms. Imagine the storyteller, 
her voice raspy but rich, weaving tales of mischievous kappa and wise old banyan trees, her words transporting listeners to worlds beyond the confines of time. Forget the fear of fading, the misconception that passion is a privilege of the young. Okinawans embrace the Ninchunaka Yoi philosophy, life is good at every age. They find beauty in the rustle of silver hair, the creak of well-worn knees, the gentle slowing of a once hurried pace. They know that life's melody doesn't end with a crescendo, it simply changes tempo, each note imbued with its own unique flavor. So ditch the age-defying creams, the Botox injections, the desperate clinging to a youthful facade. Embrace the Okinawan Ninchu Naka Yoi groove. Let your wrinkles tell your story. Let your laughter be your symphony. Let your passion be the flame that ignites every day, no matter the number on your cake. You might just find yourself dancing with centarians. Your spirit ageless, your heart vibrant. A testament to the fact that life isn't a countdown to dust. It's a joyous improvision played with gusto and a smile that wrinkles can't contain. Hold on to your dancing shoes, folks, because we're just halfway through the Okinawan elixir of life. We're about to brew up some magic, tap our inner centarian, and discover that the fountain of youth isn't some mythical spring. It's a way of life waiting to be embraced. If you're liking this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Are you ready to dive back in and unlock the next four secrets to a life that's long, vibrant, and oh so Okinawan? Rule number five, embrace the Ikigai spark, where purpose ignites a life well lived. Forget the soul-crushing grind, the Monday morning blues, the feeling that your life is a to-do list on repeat. If you want to wake up each day with a fire in your belly and a purpose that sings in your soul, then journey to Okinawa, the island where life isn't just lived. It's ignited by a spark called Ikigai. This isn't just some fancy Japanese word for hobby. It's the sweet spot where passion meets purpose, where what you love and what you're good at collide in a glorious explosion of meaning. It's the reason Okinawan grandmothers can outgarden teenagers and centarians can outlaugh toddlers. It's the secret sauce that keeps their eyes twinkling and their hearts brimming with life. Forget the pressure to change the world, to leave a legacy etched in stone. Ikigai isn't about saving the planet or curing cancer. It can be as simple as the joy of tending your bonsai tree the satisfaction of crafting the perfect bowl of noodles, or the thrill of teaching your grandchild the ancient island dance. It's about finding that sweet intersection, that unique blend of what makes you tick and what makes the world a little brighter. It's the reason the Okinawan woodcarver loses himself in the scent of freshly cut wood. The fisherman feels at one with the ocean's rhythm and the storyteller weaves tales that transport generations to faraway lands. Forget the retirement blues, the fear of an empty calendar. Ikigai doesn't fade with age, it intensifies. It's the reason Okinawan grandmothers, their bodies etched with the wisdom of years, still find solace in weaving intricate tapestries, their nimble fingers whispering stories of a life well lived. It's the fuel that keeps them sharing their knowledge, their laughter echoing through community centers as they teach young hands the art of pottery, the rhythm of traditional songs. Ikigai is their ageless fountain of youth, a source of purpose that transcends the limitations of time. So ditch the career ladder, the endless pursuit of more. Embrace the Okinawan Ikigai spark. Look beyond the mundane, the routine, and rediscover what sets your soul ablaze. It might be hidden in the forgotten corners of your life, waiting to be rekindled. Nurture that spark. Let it grow into a flame that illuminates your days and warms the hearts around you. You might just find yourself living a life so rich, so vibrant, that wrinkles become badges of honor. Testaments to a journey fueled by purpose, not just years. Rule number six, Uchenna. Embrace the slow life. Forget the alarm clock screaming, the frantic rush to work, the feeling like life is a runaway train you can't quite catch. 
If you want to slow down, truly savor life's moments, and discover the secret sauce of Okinawan longevity, then whisper the magic word, Uchenna. This isn't just some laid-back excuse to procrastinate. It's the Okinawan philosophy of slow living, a deliberate dance with time where each step is savored, each breath appreciated. It's the reason Okinawan grandmothers can sip their tea for hours, savoring the subtle shifts in flavor. And centarians can stroll through markets, their eyes taking in the vibrant tapestry of life without a care for the clock. Forget the pressure to hustle, to fill every moment with productive activity. Uchenna isn't about laziness, it's about intentionality. It's about choosing quality over quantity. Focusing on the present moment instead of chasing the ever-retreating horizon of the future. Imagine relishing each bite of your lunch, not just wolfing it down between emails. Imagine feeling the sun warm on your skin as you walk, not just rushing from point A to point B. Imagine the joy of a simple conversation, laughter echoing in the air, not just a hurried exchange of pleasantries before diving back into the digital abyss. Uchenna isn't just about slowing down your physical movements, it's about quieting the frantic chatter in your mind. It's the space between breaths where worries dissolve and gratitude blossoms. It's the fertile ground where creativity flourishes, where solutions simmer on the back burner of your mind, waiting to be gently nudged to the surface. Forget the fear of falling behind, the nagging feeling that you're not doing enough, Uchenna isn't about stagnation, it's about sustainable progress. It's the tortoise outpacing the hare, the slow and steady climb that leads to a summit bathed in the golden light of accomplishment, not exhaustion. So ditch the to-do list that stretches to infinity, the calendar crammed with commitments. Embrace the Okinawan Uchenna stroll. Take your time, savor the journey, and watch wrinkles become maps of a life well-lived, not battle scars of a relentless race against time. You might just find yourself arriving at your destination refreshed, rejuvenated, and brimming with the joy of a life lived in the present moment, not just speeding towards an unknown future. Rule number seven, forget fancy lattes. Embrace the Okinawan herbal symphony where nature brews longevity in every cup. Forget the caffeine jitters, the sugar crashes, the endless parade of trendy coffee concoctions. If you want to soothe your soul, nourish your body, and tap into the secret spring of Okinawan vitality, then step into the world of their herbal teas, a symphony of nature's wisdom brewed to perfection. Think beyond wilted Lipton bags and lukewarm water. Okinawan herbal teas are a vibrant dance on your palate, a kaleidoscope of flavors and aromas that awaken your senses and whisper ancient secrets of health. Imagine the tangy zip of lemongrass, the earthly comfort of roasted barley, the floral sweetness of chrysanthemums, all swirling in a cup that's both medicine and a delight. Forget the single ingredient wonders, the promise of a miracle cure in every sachet. Okinawan teas are a tapestry of botanical magic, each herb chosen for its unique properties, each blend a masterpiece of synergy. They're like a folk song passed down through generations, each note adding a layer of wisdom, each cup a testament to the healing power of nature. Imagine sipping a warm mug of turmeric tea, its earthly aroma chasing away anxieties about your health like a gentle breeze. Picture the vibrant mugwort tea, its tartness a reminder to embrace life's sour notes with a smile. Feel the warmth of Goya tea seep into your bones, its comforting bitterness easing aches and worries like a lullaby. Forget the rigid routines, the pressure to down gallon after gallon. Okinawan teas are an invitation to slow down, to savor ritual. Imagine the rhythmic clinking of a mortar and pestle as you grind fresh herbs, the fragrant steam swirling around your face like a blessing. Picture the sunlight dappling through the trees as you sip mindfully, each taste a meditation on the present moment. Forget the fear of the unknown, the labels filled with unpronounceable ingredients. Okinawan teas are a language whispered by the earth a connection to your ancestors, to the wisdom of nature. 
They're a celebration of the simple things, a reminder that true healing often lies not in a pill, but in a cup brimming with the essence of the land. So ditch the sugary sodas, the artificial flavorings, the endless pursuit of the next flavor fad. Embrace the Okinawan Herbal Symphony. Let nature's orchestra play on your tongue. Let each sip be a journey of discovery, a dance of flavors and healing. You might just find yourself humming with a newfound vitality, your wrinkles becoming badges of a life steeped in wisdom, not just years. And rule number eight, forget atomic families. Embrace the Okinawan embrace, where community is the antidote to aging. Forget the nuclear fallout of broken families, the isolation of cityscapes, the gnawing loneliness that can feel like a slow fade to black. If you want to age like a fine wine surrounded by warmth and laughter, then journey to Okinawa, where the village isn't just a place, it's a lifeline, an anchor in the storm of time. These aren't just neighbors who wave from a distance. They're family, chosen and cherished, their lives woven together like intricate tapestries. Imagine grandmothers sharing recipes with wide-eyed toddlers, their wrinkled hands guiding tiny fingers in the art of rolling mochi. Picture teenagers learning ancient fishing techniques from weathered fishermen, their laughter echoing across the sun-dappled water. Forget the pressure to go it alone, the myth of self-sufficiency that isolates us more than empowers. Okinawans lean on each other, not out of weakness, but out of wisdom. They know that a shared burden is lighter, that a helping hand can turn a mountain into a molehill. Imagine a young mother returning from the hospital, her arms cradling a newborn, not just greeted by flowers and balloons, but by a village ready to lend a hand, a smile, a warm meal. Picture an elder struggling with a garden, not met with averted eyes, but with a chorus of moshi moshi, and willing hands that sprout like spring flowers around them. Forget the fear of vulnerability, the shame of asking for help. Okinawans don't see dependence as weakness. They see it as a dance, a beautiful give and take that strengthens the bonds of their community. They share not just tools and resources, but stories and laughter tears and triumphs. It's not just about physical support, though helping hands are plentiful. It's the mental and emotional haven that a village provides. Imagine a circle of weathered faces gathered around a crackling fire, their stories a chorus of shared wisdom, a balm for the soul. Picture children falling asleep to the rhythmic lullaby of an elder's song, their fears chased away by the warmth of collective love. So ditch the gated communities, the security systems, the illusion of self-made success. Embrace the Okinawan embrace. Build your own village, brick by genuine brick, smile by heartfelt smile. You might just find that the strongest walls aren't made of stone, but of shared laughter, helping hands, and the unwavering belief that we're all in this together, wrinkles and all. All right, Okinawan champions, you made it. We've cracked open the secrets to longevity, danced with centarians, and sipped herbal teas that whispered ancient wisdom. Your wrinkles are already starting to glow, your laughter is echoing in the streets, and your Uchenna stroll is turning heads in the best possible way. But don't stop the music just yet. This Okinawan fiesta is just getting started. We want to see you embrace these secrets, turning your life into a vibrant dance of longevity. So here's what we need you to do. One, like this video. Let's show the world that aging doesn't have to be a drag. Two, subscribe to our channel. We've got more life hacking adventures lined up and you don't want to miss a single wrinkle smoothing secret. Three, hit the notification bell. Be the first to know when we drop new videos so you can keep your longevity journey on track. And most importantly, share this with your friends and family. Let's build a community of centarians, spreading laughter, good food, and the Uchenna spirit like wildfire. Remember, life isn't about counting candles. It's about lighting them up with a passion, purpose, and a healthy dose of island magic. So go forth and live your best Okinawan life. Your future self, with its radiant wrinkles and twinkle in its eye, will thank you for it. Now, crank up the island tunes, grab your dancing shoes, and let's keep this longevity fiesta going.
We'll see you on the next adventure.